I wanted to do a first and create my first video here with a book in hand. It's called Beyond Positive Thinking by Robert Anthony. It's a fantastic book. It's definitely one of the best books I've ever read. I would highly recommend it. It's free on YouTube. There's a free PDF if you just Google it. So you really have no excuse but to dive right into it. And one of my favorite concepts that it goes over in this book is... Um, basically like how there are some falsities that everybody really tends to believe in. Um, so for example, it goes over like there's three main beliefs um, about life that really just prevent us from being happy or satisfied. And so the first one is what I don't have is better than what I do have. I think we can all agree with at one point or another believing in that one. The second one is having more is better. I get it, that might help you strive to hit more goals, but if you're constantly thinking having more, having more is better, then obviously what are you running into? Unhappiness and, sat and, and not being satisfied with what you have. And then the third thing is when I get what I want, I will be happy. Have you ever felt that before? When I finally just get what I want, then I'll be happy. I can think of a lot of different instances where this has been the case in my life. Um, I remember feeling like when I just graduate from college and I can just make that final leap into getting out into the real world, I really wanted to do that when it was getting close to graduation, um, then I'll be happy. And of course, real world hits and of course, lots of challenges. And of course, I'm happy for like two seconds and then all the challenges set in. And when I was building my first business, and I was like, when I just finally open my doors and I've built my first business, then I'll just be so happy. And of course, it's exciting for five seconds, and then all the challenges set in, and I have, you know, a thousand and one things to think about, and I'm stressed out about something else, and so on and so forth, right? When I just start making more money, when I just find the relationship that I'm happy with, then, you know, and then there's just a thousand other problems. But yet we live our lives thinking, like, when I just get what I want, then I'll be happy. And therefore, we're never really happy or satisfied in the moment. And instead, you know, we're constantly just looking for the next thing, and we're not living, like, in the present. So I wanted to talk about what he talks about here. And he talks about, like, the creative process process and basically kind of the way that um, your desires or things should flow. I think that it makes a lot of impact. Um, so he says basically that like um, most people create their lives from having into doing into being. So basically if I have the things that successful and happy people have, then I will do what successful and happy people will do in which case I will be happy and satisfied. And he says, well, that's how a lot of people really live, but it's really not accurate, right? And it's like per all the examples that we just went over, it's really not true, right? I mean, I, I finally have this and this and this, and of course I'm still focused on the next thing. I'm still, you know, stressed out about this. I'm still looking towards, you know, what's next. And and so it's it's gotta be the exact opposite, um, which makes so much sense to me. So he says the truth of, um, is that life flows from being to doing to having. So if you're being happy and satisfied from the inside out, then you start doing what happy and satisfied people do with, and you will have what happy and satisfied people have. Huge difference between the two concepts. It's really kind of fighting everything that we just talked about, about when I have this, I will be happy. Because like there, there's so much in our lives, small things and large things. The large things might be coming to you right now, but like how much do you do that in a small way, just over the course of the day? When this test is finally over, then I'll be happy. When this shift is finally over, then I'll be able to relax. When I just get this done, then I can relax. When I cry Cross this off to the do list when this day is over like we just we aren't thinking about living in the present and being happy with what's going on and of course he says you know at some point look this doesn't mean that you should have you shouldn't have goals or strive to be better but you should certainly be living with excitement in the present you know which makes a lot of sense to me so I like when he kind of breaks this down and he says, we only have two choices in life. One, the first is to enjoy what we have today. And the second is to have anxiety about what we don't have and focus on tomorrow, hoping that it will be better.
makes so much sense and so much we focus on number two and we just like have anxiety about what we don't have we hope tomorrow will be better and we're not grateful and enjoying what we have today gratitude is such a powerful emotion and it brings more things into your life that make you feel gratitude you will get back whatever you're emanating so I don't know, this this made a lot of sense to me. I really wanted to share this and I hope that you take a look at like how much you're looking at this, not just again on a macro level, because I think that that's easy when we when when I'm saying things like, you know, hey, we can all probably relate to when I have more money, then I'll be happy. I think that's easy for us to agree to. Yes, I think a lot of people are saying, yeah, I can probably relate to that. I've definitely felt that. Okay, well, how many times today over the course of the day did you feel like when this is over, this like segment of my day, when I get back here, when I'm done with this, when I'm done with this to-do list, did you think that as well? Your whole life, you're busy spent waiting for the next moment. And then when that happens, you do it all over again. So it's such a good concept to be aware of them to live really presently. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, solid book, Beyond Positive Thinking by Robert Anthony. I highly recommend it. If you're excited about it, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat. But I'm excited to keep, you know, bringing more stuff maybe from uh, some books that I'm reading too. Thanks guys.